Hey guys, Chris with Black Rifle Survival. Uh, I've got a knife in my hand here. I haven't done a review. I've done some light use with this. Just I'll show you guys in a minute. But this is my K-Bar Becker BK2. This is a tank of a knife. It's actually one of the first bushcrafting knives that I picked up. And uh, I've got two packages down here. One from Malcolm, the Hidden Woodsman, good friend of mine. And another one from, jeez, uh, trying to remember. CFK knives or something if I'm wrong I'll have to look it up again but I ordered a sheath for this BK because uh, number one the Kydex is alright but this knife weighs a ton and uh, I'm already having some issues with the sheath starting to fray right here if I can get that to show up so I don't want that rivet or the snap to pop out so I'm gonna go ahead and you know switch that out so just to show you here I have put this through a little bit of paces you guys can see obviously um, now I've seen that you could strike a ferro rod once these are you know fixed up a little bit but I cannot get this to strike any of my ferro rods and um, whatnot so I'll do a small review on this one it's not one of my favorites but it's it's a solid knife um, yeah BK2 something something but anyways, let's get to the sheath because then I can do the unboxing. That's what I'm here for right now to show you guys. So here's the uh, one package. This also is made in the USA. Just want to make sure I don't cut it. And the BKs are very sharp, obviously. So he had a few different uh, sheaths here. Let's see, there's a note. Handwritten and typed up here. So this guy's name's Carl. Uh, he makes the nice sheaths. He says, hi Christopher, thanks for buying the sheath. No problem, we're gonna go ahead and do the... Uh... Ooh. Now this is beefy. Check this out, guys. Super nice drainage hole on that. You can see all the way through. Looks like there's some kind of... It's a dangler. I don't know if that's a snap on off. Ooh, yes it is. I like this. Carl Thomas Maker. From Christian, Massachusetts. I think. Might be kind of hard to tell. Jeez. So that's the maker's mark on the leather. So let's go ahead and do a fit test. He said this will fit, I think, a BK-10 in the two. That snapped in real nice. Without that, no real wiggle, no noises from it, no rattle. The stitching on this is excellent. Jeez, this is actually a really nice sheath. The welt's nice on it. not focusing you can see the stitching here just let me pull the knife back out it's kind of a wider sheath obviously the Becker BK2 is a tank of a knife so you have to have a tank of a sheath there's just the stitching on the back this is really nice let me uh, pop off this piece here if it'll come out. So it looks to be about an inch high grain leather. In a pinch, you could use this as a strop for the inside of your knife. Or, I mean, the inside of this, use it as a strop. Sorry, I worked pretty late last night. I'm still kind of waking up. But as you can see, very cool. Alright guys, well uh, I got one more package here to open up. Really excited about this one. Okay, give me a second. Resheat this here. Well, show you the inside. You guys can look in there. It's pretty nice. You can definitely see the weep hole. Alright. 
So that's my first package. And let's go ahead and do the Hidden Woodsman real quick. Again, Malcolm, thank you very much. And once again, it says, do not open with blades. You guys know me, though. I'll be very careful because he tapes these up. So Now, on his website, he had listed that he had some new haversacks up uh, back in stock. So, of course, I jumped on it as soon as I could. And I'm really, really excited because I've been wanting one for a long time. And actually, I'm looking to get the uh, Baco Laplander uh, sheath. And I need that for my bush belt. So I'm going to be building that. Sorry guys, I think my address popped up, so I'm gonna shoot this again. I haven't opened it. Um, mm -hmm. Tape on this side. Let's do it this way. So again, if you guys haven't checked out Malcolm's website, I'll leave a link. Actually, I'm going to leave a link for both places that I got the uh, sheath and for Malcolm. The other gentleman's name was Carl, Carl Thomas, Knife Sheaths. So I'll leave the uh, links for those if you guys are interested, at least uh, for a BK2. He does make other sheaths and custom stuff, so um, look him up. But, oh boy. Oh boy. These are really, really nice bags that Malcolm makes here. So he's got his logo here. Um, checking it out right now. He's got that uh, the axe loop here. This is really cool. This is one of my favorite features for these. Um, I got this one in the original Coyote with the uh, OD green or foliage straps here. Stitching on par as always. Excellent job Malcolm. And you guys know how it is. <laughs> so, uh, main difference is just the coyote straps on this one, and this one's the foliage. So, and I'll see if this one's got a different liner on the inside. I trust Malcolm, so I know he'd pick a good one for me. So, I'm flipping this open here. Whoa, read my mind. There we go, Malcolm. Rock on. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So this one here, I've been watching a couple of my buddies here doing reviews on Malcolm's uh, haversack already ahead of me. So, um, and I kind of have an idea of what they are. I'll leave links to those videos too so you guys can check out their opinions on it. And obviously Malcolm's too. But he's got your heavy, du heavy duty buckles. These are awesome. Military grade. And then this is new for me. He's got uh, some Velcro. Uh, I forget what they call them, web keepers, strapping keepers or something. But anyways, that keeps the strap up and, you know, locked up nice and neat. I kind of have a little bit of, like, OCD, so, you know, this is cool if I don't have stuff dangling off. Um, I actually did a modification, it's kind of a side note here, on um, Malcolm's Day Ruck here. You guys will notice that when you're wearing the sternum strap and it clicks in, there's a little bit, depending on how large your chest is. I'm kind of a medium-sized guy. Um, trying to lose some weight, obviously, because <laughs> need to be in shape when I'm hiking. But I have this strap on here. These are, uh, I forget what these are called. I picked them up on Amazon. They're just strap keepers, basically, with a little bit of uh, elastic cord. And that way, if you have a tag and you just you know fold it over, put it on, and then you know lock it in down below. And that will hold your extra strap. So it's this thing right here. These are pretty cool. I'd recommend getting one. I'll leave a link to it if you guys are interested. There's different kinds. Different companies make them. This one's not too expensive. But, you know, it keeps that extra material out of the way. So, Malcolm, I, I do have a suggestion. If you do um, want to make one improvement um, on the day ruck for this here, it's just a suggestion. You don't have to fly with it. If you can include um, one of these, 
that I just saw in here because instinctively I'm just like, oh, that's great. If you could throw one of these in just for the sternum strap or potentially any of the other straps that might be really long, uh, that would probably be a good option. So just a uh, user note on my end, so an honest review and unboxing. This is a great idea. I like this. So uh, what else do we have here? So let me go ahead and open the flaps here. So immediately on the front, so once you've opened the bag up, so you got your two clips, I'm out of frame, two clips, fold your bag over. First thing you're gonna see is a huge patch. So that'll fit your uh, Hidden Woodsman patch or any other morale patch you have. It's a pretty good size here. I mean, you can throw in whatever you want. You gotta put John the Wingman 115s on here. Another good buddy of mine. Check out both these channels. If you guys haven't had a chance to, you'll really like them. So, let me put this here. Front zipper. Zipper is really smooth. And actually, I need to go back and do a better review on my day rug, so. I didn't really do it in depth. I think this is the heavy duty Cordura. Again, I don't know the specs off the top of my head. I usually have show notes with me. I'm just going on, you know, on the fly for this one. So a nice zipper pouch. You got a big pocket in there. And I'll be transferring some items from my other bag into this. There is another pouch back here. Same thing, heavy duty. And then into the main internal, oh man. Goodness gracious, Malcolm. Wow. Thank you so much, buddy. Look, hey guys, check this out. Look what he just threw in here. This, this is really, really cool. So he's got these camp life in the, in the camp life wilderness, or in the wilderness, by the Hidden Woodsman. Custom patches. You didn't have to do that, Malcolm. I, I really thank you, man. That's really cool. These are too cool. All right, guys. This is what I'm talking about. You know, with um, Malcolm and the Hidden Woodsman, he's just going above and beyond. He's just making some really awesome bags here. Totally worth it. This, this was. I was not expecting that. That's really cool. So. Let me stick this one on here. Perfect size too. A little bit off, but I mean, yeah. Very cool. All right. More patches. Love patches. So, as always, he includes, it's made in the USA, rock on. Hidden Woodsman, thank you for your order. It's out of plastic so you guys can pause the screen if you're uh, new to my channel and uh, just subscribed. If you guys want an awesome day ruck, backpack, some uh, bushcrafting equipment, this is the guy to go to. His name is Malcolm. Very cool. All handmade, 100% in USA. So getting back to the inside with the surprise in there, that was really cool. You'll see it's got the high-vis yellow liners. I'm a huge fan of that. It just makes sense to me because I'm out in the desert area. If I set the bag down, this just to me makes it easier to find it. So you've got a pouch in the back here. Separator, uh, I don't know if those are, I wanted to say folder for some reason. Anyways, it's a, a separate liner. And you've got your main compartment in here and nothing on the front panel this is seamed in but there is a lot of space so i just did the review on this biolite stove for example the grill this disappears so you've got a lot of space i mean obviously i haven't packed this thing full but you can put a lot of stuff in here the uh, new z seat there we go got the old z seat That'll fit in there too. Let's see if I can get this thing all folded up. 
Doop, doop. Get the Velcro closure on top. Heavy duty Velcro, this stuff isn't going to go out on you anytime soon. I know this isn't the prettiest packing job, but you guys can see that you do have room to close these. It does have the Molly. Let's get back to that. I'm getting so distracted trying to make this review cool before I have to head out to work. Because I don't want to go to work. I want to go out to the woods today. <laughs> but uh, got to pay the bills. So really, really long straps here so you can just put these over and obviously with the clip you can release it, need be. Uh, like I said, webbing holder. There is some molly attachments on the outside. Your standard uh, distance separation on that so you could throw something through here and mount on um, additional pouches like I have this 511 water bottle pouch here. Um, on the side I've got, you know, just the point is is you can mount molly to it really nicely. So this is his day ruck just in case you guys are wondering. And I have it loaded out for all this. Loaded for bear. And uh, what was I saying? Did it do? So both sides, both sides have them. And then the axe loop is on the inside. So if you're carrying the half, it's going to be sheathed inside next to your hip or your waist. So that's out of the way. Axe will just slide down right through there. There is no molly on the bottom. But uh, again, the stitching is top notch. Malcolm is doing excellent work. Alright guys, so I'm going to do a field test with this, obviously, and I still owe you, Malcolm, a really good in-depth review on your day ruck also. Absolutely love this bag. I will never part with it. Um, as you guys can see on the day ruck, there is molly on the bottom for bed rolls and whatnot. So, this is a good day pack here. He's got a, another one out of the Classic that he's working on, and I guess he's got some really cool day ruck coming out you guys with the uh, mesh backing uh, it's all vented and looks squishy looks comfortable uh, I'll probably be checking those out come, coming around pretty soon alright so let me let me pop this back on so Camp Life Hidden Woodsman patch thank you again Malcolm this is the Haversack and Coyote. He offers uh, two different colors. I believe this comes in gray and uh, there's like an OD foliage green. And uh, I think he does Cryptek or Mandrake, a few other uh, cool camo options if you guys are into that. Obviously I've got my um, Mandrake or Cryptek style. But anyways, got this here, Haversack, Dayruck. Awesome, awesome stuff. Well guys, this is Chris with Black Rifle Survival. Do appreciate you guys uh, checking in for my quick unboxing. These items, uh, if you guys are curious, I'll go ahead and list links so you guys can get your hands on one yourself. Uh, review coming up for the Becker. This is gonna be on the back burner. I've got a few knives already I've talked about. I will be reviewing them. I've got some new knives that are coming out that are kind of taking priority at the moment. The uh, Garberg is number one and yeah I'm just without running on too much of a rant. This is Chris with Black Rifle Survival. I appreciate you guys for checking in and watching out this video and unboxing and uh, I think I'll have another unboxing a little bit later tonight when I get off work so we'll keep going with this and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care.